You, you sound like you're having fun up under there now. Uh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. family it's a uh, monday early monday morning just got done with my jog and uh went and opened the farm gets at the front it's a super exciting day on the farm because uh, we're actually getting mini splits installed today and uh they're going to install one mini split in the boys room one in our room and then one in the living area in the living room kitchen area and so it should be fun and i think they say it's gonna be like a two-day process and uh so it should be about a two or three day process and i'm gonna bring the camera along record and document the whole thing so maybe they can help you all out if you want to install them yourself because uh, they have these systems that they use that are, are DIY systems like the Mr. Cool and things like that. But this system that, that they're doing is uh, it's a Mitsubishi, 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 <laughs> however you say it. But anyway, but uh, it's a Mitsubishi mini split. And uh, I don't know why I can't say that word. <laughs> but uh, these are more, uh, they have more lines to them and you have to have like a, well, I don't guess you have to, but they recommend that you let the professionals install them. You know, it's not like a plug and go type system like the uh, the Mr. Cools are. But anyway, I got the farm gates open. Just got done with my job. Just walking around a little bit, get some fluids in me, get some water in me. Gonna go ahead and eat breakfast and then uh, head out here and feed these animals, do farm chores and just wait around for the mini split installers to come. So I'm excited about uh, bringing y'all along for the journey and letting y'all see see this whole process. Like I said, they, they, they say it might take two days, but they say they also might be able to get it done in one day. So we'll just see how it goes and uh, we'll just see what else we can get, get get into around the farm and see how much fun we can have today. My buddy uh, Insane, uh, the one who does the gospel rap that I've been putting on some of the some of the videos, he sent me a new song this morning to use on the videos. So uh, I, I told him I'm going to try to get that get that linked in somewhere so maybe when I'm when I'm editing this video I'll be able to add that song in somewhere. It's a pretty good song too. I love it. I, I think it's probably his best yet. But uh yeah I told him on his next song I said just just make mention <laughs> of IAG farm somewhere. And I told him the vision and the mission of the ministry and everything with the farm and I told him what we're doing and all that type of stuff. And I told him to try to add those things in somewhere if he can. But I'm looking forward to seeing if he can <laughs> make us like an IAG theme song or something like that. You know, gospel rap. But I love it. All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get in here and, uh, like I said, get breakfast in me, get some water, and uh, get head out here and do these farm chores. And then uh, we'll just wait around and I'll pick y'all up when the mini split installs get here. It's IG Farms. It's all about God. Let's uh, see what the Lord has for today's journey. Let's see if you can say it. Can you say Mitsubishi? Mitsubishi. Say it three times. Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi. What about you? Can you say it? Say Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi. You sound like Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi. Go ahead. Mitsubishi, 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 Mitsubishi. Nice to meet you. What? <laughs> can, you, can you say it? What is it called again? Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi. I slipped up and said it right. Yeah, you said it good. Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi. Once you got, you got to say it a couple times, then you finally get it. Mitsubishi. It's a, it's a funny word. P -p -p Clearly, that's not American. Mitsubishi. So, so we're getting these Mitsubishi mini splits and stuff. Y'all ready? That must be from China. That's how I sound like Japan. I, I, I was telling Tim Jr. the other day that uh, you, you've been, because he was saying, I didn't know y'all went to China. I said, we haven't been to China, but Megan has been to Japan, right? Yeah, I have been to Japan. What did, what did you do while you were in Japan? Um, well. Before you got sick. <laughs> sing gospel music. Okay, we, good. We uh, performed gospel. So yeah. the point was to worship in open spaces because, you know, um, it's actually against the law in Japan to, like, worship God, worship Jesus. And so um, we wanted to, like, bring people in and disciple people and um, tell people about Jesus through music, through song. And, like, we even had to be careful in public places with, like, words that we say and things like that. But um, the goal was to draw people in through worship. Yeah. So you mean tell me y'all are willing to go to jail for the sake of the gospel? <laughs> yeah. 
breaking the law. My mama's a criminal, y'all here? A criminal for Christ. Cece, she's a criminal for Christ. Yep, then <laughs> eat. I love it. That, 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 that can be our, uh, you know, be a thing. Be a criminal for Christ, for real. Like the, the underground, like in people in uh, like these foreign countries where it's illegal. The criminals for Christ, for real. <laughs> I love it. All right, y'all, y'all can see Megan is. Yeah, we have some uh, dirty rice in the morning for yeah. breakfast. And now we're just gonna eat that a little bit. Quick break. Got a little coffee over there brewing. And now we're just waiting on mini split installers for these Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi. Mini splits. I can say it now. Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi. Yeah. Mitsubishi. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. Can you say it now, no? Can you say it now, Tim? Mitsubishi. Yeah, so you got to say it for a couple times, you can get it. Mitsubishi. That's right. Good job, though. No? I will pick y'all up when uh, Mitsubishi Mini Split installers get here. All right, y'all. Looks like our Mini Split installers are pulling up right now. It's exciting. Let's see. I guess I can leave this door open so they can get in. All right. All right. It's exciting time, y'all. All right. Good morning. Good morning. All going good. Oh, yeah. How you doing? Doing good. Yeah. I'm Tim. Awesome. All right, nice, nice to meet you. Yes, sir. You see me swinging this camera around. I'm, I'm recording for our YouTube channel. Oh, you good. <laughs> Get back. They, they told us about it. Okay, good, good. Yeah. I love it. How y'all doing? Good. All right, Tim. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Going on, bro? All, All right, right, Tim. Well, uh, we'll have a little walk through with you and see where, see where kind of everything goes. Okay. Cool. Oh. Uh, Sounds good. Get a get a game plan. How many subs you get? Uh almost at a hundred thousand. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been documenting our process from going from the city to the country out here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like it out here, huh? Yeah, man, we love it. Yeah. Get back, get in. Get. All right. Well, uh, let's see what we're gonna go first. Do what you need to do, brother. Oh. Uh -oh. Try to get everything cleared out for y'all so when nothing be in y'all's way. Alright. Alright, so we're going right in between those two windows right there with the first one. Uh-huh. Try to get it as centered as we can get it. Oh, uh, any particular one you want us to start on first? Uh, you can start on this start one. On this? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, and then the other one. Yeah, we'll one. The next one's gonna be, you know, just like I say, on this wall. Just get it as centered as you can. All right. Uh -huh. They all gonna be on this wall. Yeah. Well, we got one of them that's gonna be in this last room. Uh -huh. On the end wall. Is it, is it gonna be on that back side too? Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be on the the, the farther side over there. We're gonna have right above oh, that right window there. Yeah, he, he said that y'all should be able to get the center above that window. Yeah, we can. Okay. We can do that. Cool. Yep. We can center it up and, and then try to run our line, you know, out and down. Yeah, that's what he said. You can kind of run it on the out, out, yeah. outside of that window. Yeah. yeah that'll work. Sounds good. And uh, your breaker box, is it outside? Uh, breaker box is inside. It's in the laundry room in here. Kind of mess it and that you might step over some stuff, but is it's there a, yeah. Is there a meter? Is there a one on the pole now? Yeah, it's one on the pole too. Uh huh. So you got that one there, then you got one on the pole like right that. Uh -huh. Yeah, we we'll probably probably use that one. On the pole, okay, good, good. We're gonna get some stuff laid out on the okay, floor where cool. we uh, where we working at, you know. Sounds good. Do what you need to do, brother. Go from this pole here, we'll probably do like they did and dig us a little trench. Okay. To go under the house. Sounds good. And, uh, to feed all our, you know, all our power. That makes uh, sense. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. This looks like our three units right here in the box. Mm -hmm. Excited to see what they look like. And I guess this is like the uh, concrete paver thing that they set the outside unit on top of. 
All right, y'all, we're getting set up to get these mini splits installed. Like I said, they're getting everything uh, unloaded now, kind of getting everything in place, making a, you know, the plan on what, how they want to do it. I just took them around and showed them where, where all the mini splits were going to go. And so uh, it's exciting time. So let's just uh, turn around and watch them work. Y'all can see already that they're a very professional company, and uh, I'm just looking forward to seeing this whole process. And I'll make sure I leave all their information in the, in the link or description or take a picture of the cards. So I might leave it somewhere on the video, just in case you all are thinking about getting mini splits installed and you want to, you know, even if you're doing multiples, because that, that was one of the options was to get one installed, to watch them do it, and then install the other ones myself. But I just said I'm going to go ahead and just pay for, for them to install all of them so that I'll be done with that and I can move on with finishing out the rest of them and all those things. But yeah, they're very, very professional because uh, sometimes, you know, crews come around the house and they see you have nice carpet and nice floors and they just track dirty mud all in, you know, not even thinking about it. But you see that they put these tarps down. Uh, I don't know what type of material this is, but uh, it, it, it is solid and it seems like it's kind of sticky. And uh, yeah, so it's looking good so far. So let's turn back around and watch them work, work some more. <laughs> What is, what is that down there? How much you got? One nine. One nine. What? Is that eight foot right there? Nine. Nine foot. That's the ball right here. Four and a half. First look at our unit. Oh yeah, I love it smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I'll take up too much space.
how far up past the bracket is it gonna come? Make it'll sure you leave me. It'll be hanging on the EQ. Okay, good. It won't be about that tall. I got you. Just make sure you leave me enough room for my uh, crown molding up top. Oh, oh, how thick is it? You know. I haven't bought it yet, but it's gonna be. It's not gonna be too thick, so. We can. Uh, yeah, we can go down. Maybe just a little bit, just to make sure that we have enough room. See they're back there getting that, that unit on the wall in the living room wired in. Let's see if there's anything going on out here. Yeah, it seems to be seems to be going pretty smooth and pretty pretty good so far. So let's see what what my guy out here got going on. All right, so you getting our getting our block leveled up. Now what is that block made out of? Uh, it's, so it's concrete on top. Okay. Styrofoam on the bottom. I got you. Cool. Love it. Yes, sir. Uh, how long y'all been out here? Uh, less than a year. Uh, we, we've owned the property about five, six years, but we just moved from the city probably about 11 months ago, coming up on a year. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Everything we got was food? Yeah, man. We've gotten a lot done. We didn't have any fencing, any septic, any water lines. We didn't have a barn there, so we we got a lot done this year. <laughs> yeah, man. Yes, sir. I'm trying to build me a shop now. Yeah, okay. Uh, we thought about doing a uh, shed at the house, but uh, we ended up finding this mobile home used from the reason the homes in Pearl. Yeah. Yeah, we used to drive for about five years. We drove back and forth, tried to get things done, but we barely could get anything done. So we just got, got us a little camper, fixed it up, and came down here and said, let's let's do it <laughs> for real. Go all in, sold the house in the city, came on down here. Yeah, for the first six, seven months, we were off grid, you know, just using solar panels, generator and all that. Yeah, compost toilets, <laughs> for real, yeah. But it's so peaceful out here, though. You know, it's just. So you, you said you from Pearl? Uh, well, we lived. Our ministry base was in Jackson, and uh, oh. but I was born in uh Richland, actually, right outside of Pearl. Okay. Uh huh. And then I got a bunch of family in Terry too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, y'all. Got that leveled up. Got our wires being connected. And I'm guessing these are like some covers, or well, they may be refrigerant lines. I'm not sure. But you can see they had those lines up there coming out through that hole. Like I said, pretty simple. All right, y'all, the outside unit is being set. Let's go back in and see what's going on in the inside. I need to have two cameras set up. 
So I can get both at one time. Okay, they moved on to the bedroom. I love it. Take a look at this one. See how it looks. So they had this first indoor unit set up and square and level in the middle of those two windows. And it's very discreet. It's not not too big. I was worried about it being too big and taking up too much space or just looking odd. But uh, it's very, very small and discreet. And these are the one ton units. We decided to go with three one ton units instead of the one uh, three ton or two ton unit. And it was around about the same price. The, the, three, the one three-ton unit would have been about the same price as these three one-ton units. And we weren't sure if the, 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 the one three-ton unit just in this living area would push the air and the heat around the house without getting this one area uncomfortable. And so we decided to go with just, you know, uh, units in each room. But uh, it's, I'm happy that we did it. It looks good so far. Got the first one up. He's in here working on the second one in that room. Sounds like a here. Here, my other guy back here, working on one in this room. Let's go see. Oh, that was, must have been one of y'all going to the bathroom. <laughs> they got one minute split up already, boys. Can we see? Come on. Come on in, see y'all's first air conditioning. Whoa. That's a me. Yeah. What y'all think? What 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 do you think it's gonna look like? Kind of like that one, but up on the wall. Oh yeah, it's, it's a whole lot more complex than this thing right here. I'm gonna be glad to get this thing out the window. I, I, I told the boys, uh, how should we get it out the window? Cause uh, I don't know if y'all remember that uh, video we did where we uh, got the refrigerator out, that old rotten refrigerator that was in here, and we getting rid of this old refrigerator. I think the reason they didn't get it out of here because the door too small. And so I gotta take those handles off. I took some of the door apart and uh, I'm ready to go and get rid of it today. So me and the boys are making bad decisions. The boys said the handles won't fit, so break them off. <laughs> He's gonna knock the handlebars off. Oh. So, so the next question is, is how do we get this refrigerator down these steps with just me? What y'all think, boys? Y'all think we should be gentle with it? Or y'all think we should just push it out and let it fall? Yes, push it out and let it fall. 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 We first got the mobile home. <laughs> That's right, we threw it out the door. <laughs> Get out of my mobile home. I y'all going back to home school. I know that you're curious. I know that you're strong. But life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go. Better off tomorrow, but who knows, who knows if we get joy or sorrow. Stay true to the fire in your heart and your soul. Don't trench your desire in what you can't control. We fly, we fly. Try so hard together and we might, we might be lost but not forever. Alright y'all, so just for perspective, the first unit here, this is the one that's going to be in the living room in between those two windows there. Y'all saw that one on the wall already. And then our bedroom is down there. And that second unit is gonna be right here in this section here, kind of right there in that area. And then the third unit, the one that's gonna be in the boys' room, like I said, we decided to go with three one-ton units instead of just the one big three-ton unit. And like I said, they were they were literally the same exact price, that one three-ton unit, uh, or one unit that could 
run multiple systems would have been the same because they had it where you didn't need three outside condensers you could just have one outside condenser and it goes to all of the three different or it goes to i think up to five inside units but that one outside condenser that runs all those units would have been the same price like exactly almost like a couple hundred dollars off of uh, these three inside units and then the one big three ton unit that uh that was supposed to be able i think it was able to cool and heat up to 1200 square feet from that one unit that would have been about the same price we had the option to go with either three outside condensers and three one ton units we could have went with one outside condenser with the three ton unit that was, was supposed to be able to, to heat and cool up 1200 square feet or we could have did the one unit uh on the one outside condenser that could run up to five units you know you can add in as many units as you wanted to and that would the, the all three of those systems were about the same you know they were around the same price and so this is where that last unit is gonna go and the hole should come out right above this window in the middle and they'll run the refrigerant lines down the sides and then we have outside units sitting out here so we're getting everything figured out and uh yeah we you know we put a lot of thought into it about where we wanted these units at and about what we thought would be most uh efficient as far as heating and cooling we, we, we're mainly going to use them for cooling but uh we're going to use them for some supplemental heat as well because the wood stove is going to be most of what's going to heat uh the inside of the mobile home but uh you know we wanted to have heat that we could use you know like at night so we won't have to get up and you know put logs on the wood stove and things like that we'll just throw some big logs on before we go to bed set the thermostats on the mini splits and then if you know the temperature gets that gets down cold then we can uh you know the mini splits to kick on and then by, the, by that time we'll be getting up in the morning to throw more logs on the wood stove so mainly they're going to be used for cooling but there'll be supplemental heat as well and uh you know somebody may be thinking like man why don't y'all just you know uh use the mini splits for heat and then forget the wood stove you know use that space well the thing is we're in the country and the, and the power goes out out here all the time like just it can be perfect weather and the power will go out so just think about what happens to the power during a winter storm you know when a blizzard comes through <laughs> you know what i'm saying the power goes out and then what if the only heating that we had was from these electric mini splits you know, power goes out, we're freeze to death, you know. So we have the wood stove as our, we, we, we can cook on it, you know, the power goes out because we're all electric. We have an electric stove, electric uh, heat, electric air, and all that type of stuff. So if the power goes out, we can use the wood stove to cook, we can use the wood stove for heat, and we won't die, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's a beautiful thing, and we, uh, we just like to have a wood stove as our backup heat because we don't really like propane or natural gas or anything. We just don't really trust it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just kind of like, you know, it's not something that I can work on myself, but I can work on electricity myself, and I can work on a wood stove myself. So that's our plan as far as uh, why we're doing a system like this for our heating and cooling. Uh, we're just trying to be prepared just in case the power goes out. And, uh, yeah, so let's get on back in here and see what's going on, yeah? That's enough of me talking. <laughs> All right, looks like they're done with this unit in here. It's looking good. Yep, yeah, perfect. It just fits in perfect because the inside unit is white. It goes along with the white trim. The outside unit is, is a, like a tan color and it matches the, the siding on, on the mobile home. Look at that, got the mini split. Then we got our wood stove over here. Now this is gonna be the workhorse for the winter time. Our winter in Mississippi is probably about four months or something like that. And uh, during the winter, you have stretches of like spring, like fall like weather. <laughs> so, but you, you have a winter storm every now and then. And so this, this wood stove really shines when there's a uh, winter storm outside and the power goes out. But even above that, like I say, this wood stove is so big that we should be able to just load it one time a day. You know, I maybe throw a little log on here and there and just to get it. And like I said, we had a thermostat on, on the mini splits set you know, down low, probably about 60 degrees or something like that, just in case it gets too cold, they'll kick on. Yep, so so it would just be, be less maintenance. Because in the past, we, we just had like straight mini split, uh, not mini split, but straight wood stove heat, and we would have to like, you know, stay on it, stay on top of it, couldn't really leave and <laughs> go on vacation or anything like that. So now we had these mini splits, just in case we decide to go on vacation or leave and go somewhere for the weekend or something like that we can set the thermostat on those and they'll keep all the pipes from freezing and everything during the during the winter time Let's see what they got going do, do you want uh this center of the trailer or center of this window uh so it's different yeah see 
there's about center of the trailer right there. Okay. You know, with that, with that, that peak. Uh huh. This here, your center is 26 from, you know, the window. Okay. So 26 is over a little bit. I got you. About right there. Center it with the trailer. Okay. With, with, the, with that peak up there. I think that'll look better. Yeah. Mm. That's the first thing you see when you come in. Yep. Boys. They're, they're, they're starting to install y'all's mini split in y'all's bedroom. Y'all put, put your pencil down and come on and look. That this is y'all. Now hold up. Stop, stop, stop right there. Now this is y'all's mini split. Y'all are going to be in charge of, of setting the temperature, turning it on, turning it off. Y'all going gonna to have to like clean the filters and do all that good stuff. Y'all. Yeah, you got to clean the filters. I'll show y'all how to do it. But uh, y'all gonna be ready for all that? Yeah. Y'all gonna have a little remote control that y'all can use to, to set the temperature and all that good stuff? Y'all gonna be ready for that? Yeah! So y'all come in here and as you, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not done talking yet. So y'all are men, all right? Say, I'm a man. I'm a man. All right. I'm a man. So as, as men, you need to go in here and oversee your mini split, uh, mini split being installed, all right? So I don't want y'all to get in the way, but come on in so y'all can see. Let's see. Let's see where y'all can stand at. Go stand over there by the closet. See, so I'll be out the way. I told them they need to come in here and oversee their uh, mini split being installed. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. Alright, boys, so y'all are overseeing the process. So if y'all see anything wrong, anything out of line, it's your job to speak up. Alright? Speak up like a man, okay? Yes. All right. So everything looks good so far? Mm -hmm. All right. Sounds good. Outside shut off box there. Yes, sir. And so you say when we when we flip the switch on that, it's gonna be just like this. Okay. Uh, oh, you just pull it, it out. I got you. And you get ready. Pull it out. I got you. It feels the power to this. To this. All right. Yeah. You, you touch that, you gonna get blown up. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, cool. Like you better work like, on that if you need to. I guess. Yeah, like if you need to, if you ain't got on grass, but if you needed to walk, like weed eat around mm -hmm. it, take all that out. Okay. So I got you. Cool. That's all it is. Sounds good. Now over here we're gonna we're gonna have to trench this high bolt wire. I got you. I'm sure he already salesman yeah, already told you. Yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. Trench it on right there. Okay. Run the wire to each one. I got you. Now what do y'all use to trench? Just y'all shovel, shovel it. it. Okay, there's there's some hard ground out here. Yeah. <laughs> it's some rain, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, but we'll just shovel all that. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Is it a certain depth that y'all had to put it or just get it? I think it's seven inches. Seven inches, we're gonna, okay. We're going to do about nine, just to be I, sure. I guess. Y'all sh should be able to. Hopefully, y'all got a little pick or something. Y'all can <laughs> put it on. I guess. I get it. <laughs> yes, sir. Something that's like a flaring tool. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Make sure make sure they ain't flared out or that door that's screw up mm -hmm.
know some of y'all are watching this and saying, man, Tim, you could have did this yourself. But uh, as you see, they have a crew. It's three of them. It would have just been one of me. And uh, I would have had to buy different tools and things. I had most of the tools already, you know, for up until this point. But, uh, you know, the way that they're hooking up that, that shutoff box, that would have gave me trouble. And then, uh, you know, with the flaring tool, I would have had to buy that and figure out how to do that. And then uh, if something went wrong with it, I would have had to fix it, you know. With this system, you know, if something goes wrong, I call them and say, hey, you know, this isn't working, this isn't working. And they come back and fix it, you know. So, uh, you know, it's just, uh, I could have done it. I could I could have done it myself, but uh, I got so much, much other stuff going on. I just need to contract this out, get this done by somebody else and move on to something else. And like I said, if, it, if something goes wrong with it, I can call them and say, hey, this isn't working. They can send somebody out to, to fix it, so. It's going well so far, and I'm starting to see things, you know, in the process that, you know, would have gave me trouble, <laughs> you know, trying to do it myself. somebody looking over your shoulder. <laughs> huh? I said this puts a whole new meaning in having somebody looking over your shoulder. Oh no. <laughs> you got the camera looking over your shoulder. Uh, it's, it happened more than you think. <laughs> oh yeah. She will mind. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so many parables just in what you're doing right now. Connecting wires to the power source. Yeah. You know, because uh even all these wires you're doing now and how you're connecting all this stuff now, like if you don't connect all of this to that pole out there, you're not gonna have any power. Nope. You know. So we can do all this fancy work and do all of that, but if we don't connect to the power supply, just like that where you had your finger at right there, yep. you know, it's not, we're not gonna have anything. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's, that's a perfect example of, of our relationship with Jesus. We can put on all the fancy suits we wanna put on, you know, do put on makeup or whatever, you know, you may do, cut your hair nice, you know, go yep. to church, but if we're not connected to Jesus, ain't no reason. nothing's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> no reason for it. Yeah. What's this little machine right here that y'all working on? It's the vacuum pump. Okay, that, uh, cool. Pulls a vacuum on that, on the system, on the lines and all. I get love the it. moisture, get everything out of the, you know, if there is any kind of moisture or anything in your line. I got you. This, I love will, it. this will pull it off. Get a fresh oil change on there so she can work properly. Uh, we're gonna get some, get some lines hooked up. So I'm guessing that they hook up the vacuum line and then maybe to that spot right there. And like you were saying, get any moisture out, any air, anything like that when they fill it up with the refrigerant. So, looking good so far.
right y'all so they they've still been working for a while and they're uh probably about halfway done or so and it's around lunchtime, so they're about to get get everything kind of cleaned up a little bit kind of tighten up the things they've just done and uh, head and get lunch and uh as you can see they've gotten started on this uh outside unit and that they, are, they got all the inside units in the inside home and they're starting to uh hook together the refrigerant lines drain lines electrical and everything from the inside to the outside and as you can see they have this outside unit here at the boys room set up and they've hooked up the uh, vacuum pump to this first unit that they started installing back here the one for the living area and so they're getting the wiring and uh the vacuum pump getting the wiring done they got the vacuum pump hooked up to that one and all of the lines are already hooked up to that one and then this one over here they haven't hooked the lines up to this one yet but they're they have the electrical hooked up from that uh shut off box there to the unit they have it leveled they had the inside unit hooked up in the inside on the wall and so now they have to run the, the refrigerant lines and all of the drain lines and everything but like i said they're getting cleaned up now getting ready to take lunch and uh tomorrow because uh, i think they're gonna come back today and uh, get done doing a little bit of stuff here and there but tomorrow <laughs> is gonna be the hard part because they're gonna come back tomorrow and they're gonna trench underneath the mobile home because they're gonna send all the wires underneath the mobile home to the different units from this box here from the main power source box and uh in order to to put it to this box here they have to trench underground and they're gonna try to shovel you know shovel the dirt and they'll just trench underground and then let their wires go up into there for the units and and the shutoff valves and everything but uh the hard part is gonna be this dirt because this dirt is super hard <laughs> for real and uh it'll be good if a little rain shower will come or something like that but it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty hard to get get down nine inches i think they said they're gonna go nine inches seven to nine inches or something like that with their trench but it's gonna be hard to get nine inches down into this dirt <laughs> so uh it'll be good to do that tomorrow and not not start doing that project today but yeah they're finna take lunch they're getting everything cleaned up and uh I guess I'll just pick y'all up when they get back. I think they're coming back today to, uh, you know, tie, 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 some, tie a few things together. And then they're going to do those things. And then they're going to come back tomorrow and run the main line. Uh, like I say, trenching on the ground and everything. So i just pick y'all up when they get back from their lunch break. And uh, i let the boys, i release them from homeschool as well because it's time for us to eat lunch as well. Like I said, I hadn't even did farm chores yet. I took my jog this morning and then they, they got here early. So I didn't have, had a chance to do farm chores. So I'll take the time while they're gone let the boys up from home school, get them a little lunch, eat me a little lunch, and then go and do the farm chores. And by that time, they should be back. So I'll just pick y'all up then. All right, y'all, we're waiting on the service crew for our ministries to get back on their lunch break. We took us a lunch break. I released the boys from their first uh, round of home school. They do a little bit of homeschool, like book work, and then when Megan gets back, she does like classroom work with them, about two or three hours of classroom work. But we came down here to feed the pigs, do the farm chores. What y'all think, boys? Y'all think, think we're uh, getting the pigs trained up good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So y'all y'all have only named one of these pigs, right? Yeah. Zip line. Zip line, yeah. Zip line is moving, moving in this line. Yeah, he used to have little lines on him, but he's getting darker now. That's zip line right there. He's a barrel. But we fed uh, Mr. Dan. I don't know if we told y'all or not, but we decided to name the rabbit Dan. So we just call him Mr. Dan. What's up, Mr. Dan? I, I thought and, about and, Daniel, and Tim thought about Dan. You know what I thought about? His name is Mr. Dan. We can name his wife Danielle. Who's so, Danielle? Dan. I'm not sure, but that'll be his wife. Yeah. That'd yeah. Be so, I, I think you, you spell them the same way. Actually, I had to look that up. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. How do you spell Danielle? Do you spell Dan and Danielle or, or, or Daniel and Danielle the same way? Dan, Ma maybe you switch around the E and the I. Dan. What's that, Noah? Dan, look. Oh, yeah. You're rubbing them good. Dan, Daniel. Yeah. Mama's done a good job while well, she's been doing farm chores for the last couple couple months. But, yeah, we got Mr. Dan over here. And uh, maybe we can name his wife Danielle. Hopefully, he, he survives in here. But it's pretty cool in here. And uh, it stays warm on, on the cooler days. It, it, it's just a beautiful thing because in here it stays cool on the, on the warmer days and stays warm on the cooler days in here. It just works out perfect. I guess it's with this uh, metal roof up here. Anyway, we got the pigs. Got our boys over here. Got the Joes. Got Mr. Joe and the JoJo's over here fed. And then we have our have the sows out there. The sows that we're going to use for the next couple of years fed out there. 
And uh, we're right, right now, we're not really giving the sheep a whole lot of grain. We're just giving them hay. Throw them a little hay bale. Throw them a couple squares of hay. But yeah, we just figured we'd come out here and take care of the animals. Figure out, bring the boys with me so they can get back involved with the animals. Because uh, that, that was really our thing, wasn't the boys? Mm -hmm. Before uh, Mama started doing farm chores. Mm -hmm. Y'all used to come out and do farm so chores with me. to teach her how to do it. And we, Mama might gotta start teaching us how to do it. <laughs> That's right. Y'all always came out and trained up our baby pigs. Y'all would always get in and catch pigs if we needed to. Yeah. yeah. That was fun. Mm -hmm. I can catch this one right now. Oh yeah, don't pick them up. Just rub them a little bit and keep on calling. <laughs> Alright y'all, we're just doing these farm chores. Just relaxing for a little bit with the boys and getting the boys back, back acclimated with the farm chores as well as me, you know, because uh, Megan's been doing it for a while. But uh, our crew should be back pretty soon because I know they say they got a couple more things they want to do today. And uh, I just pick y'all up when they get back. And Megan should be pulling up soon as well. <laughs> I wasn't sure if the uh, mini splits were going to be like done and working by the time she got here because they were going so fast. But they kind of like slowed down after they got all the inside work done because it's kind of warm out here <laughs> today in Mississippi. It was fall time for the last couple weeks, but then all of a sudden it turned back into summertime. <laughs> you need, need the air conditioning back on now. You needed uh, heat for the last couple mornings and last couple nights. But now you need air conditioning again. That's just Mississippi for you. So it, 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 it'll be the middle of winter. And then it'll be like a winter storm. It'll be 20 degrees, 15 degrees. It'll be snowing. And then next week, the sun will come out and it'll be hot again. You have to put on shorts. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to go ahead and work with these pigs a little bit more. And I'll just pick y'all up once once uh, either Megan or the service techs get back for the mini splits. We'll just see what we can get into. She's an answer and said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. Can't nobody get through the Father except through me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Heavenly Father. Yeah, yeah. All right, y'all, we just got done farm chores. And we had a neighbor to stop by and just say hello. And uh, our mini split installers have pulled back up. And they're back, back going back here. So let's see what they got going on. All right, y'all, made it back. Y'all enjoy lunch? Good, good. Y'all enjoyed y'all's lunch? Yes, sir. A little bit, let's see. This is gonna be the fun part to see them dig this, this trench in this hard dirt. <laughs> you must lost the bet. You the one that got to do the digging. <laughs> it's some hard ground. It might be a little soft right there because that's just overflow dirt, but over here, man, it's gonna be tough. Alright y'all, we're still back here working on this trench and uh, I helped out just a little bit and uh, he's continuing to dig down. Uh, like I said, we can't get any deeper. We had to let some water sit in there. I could get the tractor and uh, try to try to dig down into it because I know where that other uh, line is at, but I just don't want to get close to it. I don't want to, you know, uh, nick anything else and mess something up. So we better just go and dig it by hand. So he's going to try to keep on getting a little bit deeper because it don't have to be too deep, you know, about seven to nine inches like they were saying. Just to get those three little pieces of conduit up under there with the wires going through it. But, uh, yeah, that, that, that's some hard ground. So, if you can't get it any deeper, then we'll run some water and then let water sit in there till tomorrow then be able to, to, to dig it deeper. But, uh, he seems pretty determined to get that thing deep as, as he needs to. So, I'm, uh, I'm encouraging him and I'm going to help out as much as I can. Let's go around here and see what it looks like they're about to spray foam some of the holes around here. Y'all want to come around here, boys? Y'all going to stay there. It looks like they're finishing off around here, so let's see what they got going. 
All right, so we're just getting a little bit of spray foam in around the pipes. So no rodent, so air can get in through there. And uh, yeah. You just getting that spray foam put in there. As you see, they've hooked up all the refrigerant lines and they had a line there for the uh, condensation to drip out. Everything's hooked up there. Have our junction or shut off box there. Let's go look at the other ones. Looks like they're all done. So we got our all our lines hooked up there as well. All our wires hooked up. They still have this uh, vacuum pump going to get any air and anything out of there. Any air or moisture. Look at this last one and see if it's all hooked up. Oh yeah, so they had this one hooked up as well. Have the uh, shutoff box there. And uh, this shutoff box is just it's very, very simple. It just has a little thing there. And if you want to shut the power off to the unit, you pull that little thing there and that shuts the power off. Close back down. And they have all the lines hooked up, tightened up. Have everything up there done. And they still have to put the covers on because there's going to be a cover that, that uh, hides those wires and all those lines and everything. But it's looking good so far. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, I got you. Looking good, looking good. What's up? Hey, how's it going? You ready to see your mini splits? I am, I am. They're kind of winding down for today. They're going to come back tomorrow and uh, run the wire to the uh, power pole and everything. They're trying to get this hole dug. I worked on it a little bit with them. Okay. I started to bring the tractor over, but it's a little bit too close to the other wire that's in the ground. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. But I, I know I could dig it with the tractor without hitting yeah. the wire, but I just won't take no chances. Oh, yeah. So I was thinking, you know, the dirt is hard, but you got that piranha tooth. Oh really yeah, that helps yeah, I, I can get through it. Yeah, mm -hmm. but we're—he's trying to dig it, dig it by hand. I helped out a little bit. How's it going? We're at about an inch. <laughs> Come on, see what it's looking like. See Boy, what you think. Mad at me, I have lunch. Oh, All good. Right. Good old subway. <laughs> see what you think so far. But they don't have much to do tomorrow when they come. Just put the trim on the wires and mm -hmm. make everything look finished. Okay, sounds mm -hmm. good. I'm excited to see everything. See we, see, we got about, about two inches, maybe. Yeah, I told him, I said, did you warn them that that dirt is hard? No, oh, ain't no doubt. <laughs> that dirt ain't no joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we actually, did you tell them about the fire, how you burnt the tractor out with the auger? Oh, yeah. I had the dirt so hard when I was digging those posts for the fencing, my tractor caught fire because it was working so hard trying to dig down to this dirt. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's tough. Rain, yeah, it's tough. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm, I'm just waiting on you to tell me to fill it with water and let it sit till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to be, though. Man, it's supposed to be a little hard headed. <laughs> All right, tell me what you think. They're going. Oh, man. It looks great. I like how they set the little, uh, little concrete stand. It looks really good. It's mm -hmm. not like. I was worried because I was like, we're getting three of them. We're going to have three units. Mm -hmm. But it's really compact. And it actually matches the, the siding yeah. on the back. Yeah. It's tan. Yeah. 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 It's, it looks really neat, too. Mm -hmm. so and they still have to put the other. Uh, it's going to be a trim, piece of trim over the, the, the lines and things. So you're not going to be able to see any of those lines. It's mm -hmm. That looks really good. Yeah. 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 All right. Keep on walking. Okay. We got two more. I can't wait. For real. That looks good. Yeah. And then the boys room. Awesome. Perfect. Yep, it looks really good. And that, that board there at the bottom, that uh, concrete thing, mm -hmm. it's, it's concrete on the edges of it but then it's a uh, styrofoam in the middle so it's covered in concrete but it's a piece of styrofoam under there I got you. yeah mm -hmm. that looks 
I would have thought that was all concrete. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Nice little stand. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I think it looks great. I'm glad we uh, contracted this out. It looks so neat and nice. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, not, we're not going to tell them how much money we're spending on this. <laughs> I would, but I don't want to have to deal with the uh, the haters in the comments. So I'm going to keep my business to myself. So <laughs> yeah, but um, it's one of those things. Tim definitely could have done it. And he would have done a good job. But I, I love my husband too much and appreciate his sanity and to keep piling all these projects it, on. It, it, it wouldn't have just been me doing it. It would have been we're, like you said yeah. in one video, us doing us. it. We're. <laughs> For real, exactly. Because right. uh, this is not a one-man job, but I would have tried, though. Because it's, it's taking it's going to take them two days to do right. it two with days. three men. They have done three it men. over and over and over and right. over again. So it would have took me about at least like two weeks, two, three weeks. Yeah. Maybe more after I went and had yeah. to buy all the material and buy yeah, this and buy, buy, buy the flaring tool and buy the vacuum pump. And then we, we, we would have had to order stuff online and wait. So it might have took a month yeah. after yeah. ordering stuff. Mm. You would have tried to have me help him, but it oh, yeah. you, you, back you, you, and forth fussing at me. And you were going to help. Fired me before then the I was going to hire you back. Yeah. Come on in, let's see the inside okay. units. That's enough talking about me firing people. <laughs> I did. Oh, I brought you some bottle water, some um, body armor, cookies. All right, units, 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 units. Okay. These kids ain't talking about nothing. Okay. That looks great. That looks great. What do you think? It's nice and sleek. It's not in the way. Because, you know, it's really not going to be anything. Turn some lights on in here. Here, anyway. Got, got, got kind of warm, so I started turning the lights off. Listen, I, I turned all them lights on and it's still dark. <laughs> we gotta get some better lights in here. That'll be my next project. Better to replace all these lights. Yeah, we did replace the bulbs. But, but that didn't work. It's mm -hmm. kinda, you know, still kind of yellow. yellow mm -hmm. So we'll replace the whole fixture. Um, Seriously, think about the bedroom. Wonderful. Let me go look. Okay, this is good. You barely even notice it's there. Yep, blends in. It does blend in. And it all, it's so amazing. The outside units, I don't know if they had different colors. Outside oh, units match the outside of Emma. Yeah. The inside units match, match the, the inside. inside of Emma. Mm -hmm. All right, boys' room. All right, let's do this. We have a decision to make on this this one in the boys' room because the window wasn't uh, wasn't square or even with the peak of the house. Okay, okay. And yeah, so we had to, we yeah. had to decide we had to decide whether we were gonna. Level it up with the peak or with the window? I think the peak was a good idea. Mm -hmm. So you can yeah. tell I level it with the peak? Yes, that's the first thing I saw when I came in. It was level with the peak. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice it wasn't level with the, the window. window. Yeah. Said yeah, and you can't notice it is not level with the window from this angle. Right. But then when you get to this angle, you can, only tell you can see it just a little bit. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and it's not off that much. Because you really, when you stand from here, you can't tell at all. When you stand in front of it, you can kind of tell. But the mm -hmm. peak was a good decision because the peak, that's the first thing you see. see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it needs to be level with the peak. That's the most obvious thing. So it looks great. I love it. That's I right. love it, love it, love it. Sounds yeah. good. All right, y'all. So the lady of the house is pleased so I far. I approve. I not only approve, I love it. I'm just excited to see what that feel like. So. Yeah, for real. Because we need some air conditioning right now. Yes, how do you? I need to go ahead and take a bath door. now because I've been sweating door. all day. I've been worked out this morning. I've been, I've been had on a sweatpants and long sleeve shirt all day. And it's like 90 degrees out there. But it I, is. I, it's I, getting hotter and hotter. I haven't had time to change. We though. had one cold snap here in Mississippi. And then it just, oh, okay, let's go back to the summertime again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not quite summer because summer will be like in almost 100. 100. Right, it will be unbearable. But yeah, it's more like springtime, 90s, oh, yeah. low 90s. So, yeah. That's right. But the, the, the crew's outside. They're getting done. Like I say, he's still out there working <laughs> on that uh, trench. We'll see how far he gets because I, I might have to work on it a little bit after he leaves. I'm not going to say anything, though. Know? <laughs> but uh, we'll just pick y'all up tomorrow when they get back and we can actually test the units out when they get all the wires ran to the power source. So we'll just see y'all tomorrow morning. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we got
could get out of town See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Hey, darling it's me and you On the road with a couple of tunes And a car for two Hey, darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night When the stars are bright yeah. Start pulling in my cons right there Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you know it's you know it's the vacuum's pulling out. I guess. Getting, getting everything out of the lines, if there is anything in there, you know. Uh-huh. So, so pretty much that number's going to end up being zero? If, well, or? they like to get it down to 500. 500, 500 okay. is is pretty good, or really good. 250 is excellent. I guess. I guess. Cool. You want to go to the furthest one first? Alright y'all see they getting it today. They up under the uh, mobile home getting the getting the wires ran. And now we're waiting on my guy up under here to get to this point here so he can uh connect this wires to this mini split. And they're gonna have to connect wires to each mini split and then they're gonna put it in conduit and take it up under the ground and bury it. So it sounds like I hear him coming now. Come on with it. So we got our first wire down here. This is gonna be going to our main power source. We, we, we talked about the power source yesterday when uh, he was hooking up the power to the mini splits here from the inside. But we talked about how all that wiring and everything that we've hooked up so far means nothing without this with that without this line right here. This is the main line, the main power source. And that's a perfect example of, of us and Jesus because we have power to be able to do amazing things. But if we're not connected to the main power source, like all of these wires, they go to the mini split in the inside, and all of these wires that go to that breaker box there, if they're not connected to that main line, <laughs> Jesus on the main line, like that old song used to say, tell them what you want. But uh, if we're not connected to that main line, with, with the power going to the power pole, that goes to the energy so source. And it's something that, you know, the, the power company is called energy, you know. But uh, if we're not connected to that energy source, we have nothing, you know. So we have to make sure that we're connected to that main line and that main line is Jesus. And then once once we connect ourselves to Jesus, nothing can stop us. <laughs> For real. Nothing is 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 on from there, you know. No, no nothing can stand before us and prosper, you know. We become lenders and not bars. We become above and not beneath. We become the head and not the tail. So, I love it. Stay connected to that power source. The main power source.
wires hooked up to the breakers. Uh, we should have power pretty soon. We're about to turn these air conditions on. Uh -uh, you got to turn them on one at a time. Mm -hmm. Is that how quiet it is? Mm -hmm. Oh man. You're going to give it a little bit and that condenser will come on then it's start blowing cold. Okay, I guess, I guess. Y'all, I never imagined that these mini splits would be this quiet. It's, you literally, all you can hear is the blowing from the uh, the fan. Like you can barely hear it at all. Like it makes no noise at all. It's super quiet. The Ryobi the fan is louder than that. For real. It's like a whisper, whisper quiet. That, that, that's how we explain the quiet. It's like whisper quiet. If you want, if you want to air conditioning, you want it to be super quiet, turn all that. Yeah. If I turn this on. There it goes. That's on, so you can, you can fill that one okay. out. See how cold it is. See how cold it is. It should be 69. I can't even tell that it's on. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Oh, yeah. That feels real good. Yep. Yeah, I feel the voice. Let's I see. Do. I think it's a button I have where I can push to move the van. Which button is it? Can y'all feel it now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can that feel it. It's is. definitely cool. <laughs> All right, boys, we're going to see y'all in y'all's room. Yeah. <laughs> it, might, it might turn to not already. Really. Let's see. Not yet. Not yet. We caught them. All right, good. <laughs> now, this is now, y'all's is in the perfect spot. Up high. All right, y'all. So, they're just checking everything, making sure everything is working properly. They're uh, touching up the Freon a little bit. Like I said, they come pre-charged with Freon based off what they said and then they're just putting topping it off with a little bit of free on to make sure that everything is good when they leave and uh so i think i'm just pick y'all up when megan gets here <laughs> that way we can show her and let her turn the air conditions on and uh yeah it's exciting times y'all and i'm so so surprised at how quiet they are like they're whisper quiet super quiet i thought they were gonna be about the same you know uh uh loudness <laughs> you know uh sound quality of, of, of like a window unit but they're like super quiet, super, super quiet. You can't even tell their own if you don't feel the air blowing out. So I just pick y'all up when Megan gets here. my thoughts about how wonderful these mini splits are can you hear that sound you can't can you because i can't hear it 
That is so amazing. That's one of the things I'm most impressed with is that they are so quiet. And I didn't even realize um, because the outside unit, even outside when you drive up, you hear that sound. And I didn't even realize how much of a sound until I pulled up today. I was like, the wind was blowing. And I didn't hear a from an air conditioner at all but it was super cool and here when i walked in it was like icicles blowing out so i'm very pleased very impressed love the sleek small look of it it's very compact and of course y'all we got one project completed and guess what <laughs> y'all see tim right he's already on to the next thing um, he's racing the mini splits because next cold snap, he doesn't want to have to use the mini splits. He wants to be able to put on his wood stove. So I'm excited um, that he's on to the next thing and enjoying himself because he really has been wanting to get the wood stove set up. So he's in his happy place back there trying to get the fresh air intake. As you can see, he's actually cut a hole in the, in Emma in the back behind so we can have the fresh air. Um, that's just something that's required for a wood stove in a mobile home. And so he's making sure everything is safe and as it should be and perfectly put together. And just wanna show y'all the boys room. They have, oh, it's nice and cool in here. I see y'all uh, under the covers. They're all taking a little nap. So theirs is also nicely fit in here and I just I'm very pleased with them it's cold in each room and it's also blowing air into the other rooms as well so excellent excellent excited about that and then I'll show you the last one I'll show you ours in our room there you go isn't it beautiful so I'm very pleased with all of the mini splits Look at that awesome i think they did a great job with the installation and no more loud fan <laughs> and that's one of the things uh it really was a distraction for tim when he was editing to have the air conditioner going loudly or the fan going so loudly and now it is just super quiet not just the inside unit y'all but the unit outside is quiet as well so we're very very pleased with that, and I'm excited to have the wood stove. Also, that project going along, and that's just my, my thoughts are just, yay, awesome. We can finally get rid of that window unit, and I'm excited also to see how efficient the, um, the mini splits are going to be, because we've been running the, um, the AC with the window unit, and it's not been, you know, very costly as far as our energy bill, but um, we'll see. We have three units, so we'll see if it's about the same or a little bit more. I'm not expecting it to be too much more, but we shall see. So we'll be able to report to you on how efficient they are as well. But so far, A+, plus, I'm loving them. IG Farm Mama's giving it two thumbs up, but my other thumb's holding the camera right now, so... <laughs> But yeah, so give it an A+. Plus. Love them so far. And we'll just let you know what we um, think about them as time progresses. We can let you know how they are doing. And that's it for us today. I'm going to end it. Tim is in the throes of his wood stove project. So I'm just going to end it for us today. And it's IG Farms. It's all about God. We'll see you on the next one. Love. This is my testimony, one a minute See, I'm a living with